This tutorial is the start of our basic computer training course for anyone worldwide and for those of you looking to qualify in the European Computer Driving Licence the tutorial will cover the first parts of the EqualSkills Computer Basic Elements 1.1 and 1.2. The lesson is about your computer. We're going to talk about your computer and the various components that make up your computer and the layout of your PC or personal computer. We have here a picture of a standard desktop personal computer or PC. With the main parts being the monitor, the keyboard, the mouse, speakers, and we have a desktop tower computer casing which is probably the most common type of desktop computer casing. Another type of computer is a laptop personal computer or laptop PC and in your laptop everything's built in your monitor, your keyboard, we have a mouse mat and your speakers are also built in with your computer being housed in the actual laptop. But you can see from the diagram you can actually use a conventional mouse with your laptop as an accessory plugged in. Now every computer will have sockets or ports in order to add other devices. For example you can add a mouse to your laptop. We can also add other devices such as printers, microphones, cameras and headsets. Commonly used accessories will be colour coded for example a headset colour coded light green and a microphone colour coded pink. But there are also ports called USB ports. Now USB stands for Universal Serial Bus which is a standard connection port identified with the Trident symbol and accessories that are not colour coded will normally plug into the USB. It is a standard socket for computing. The computer workings are inside your computer casing and please don't take your computer apart like this this is only for a demonstration. Leave that for the professionals. Now inside your computer will be a number of components and within a laptop it will be exactly the same only the components will be organized much more compactly. Now I don't want to go into too much detail about the components within your computer but I want to talk about a few of the basic things that help to grade your computer. Inside your computer you'll find something that will be very similar to this. This is called a motherboard and this forms the backbone of your computer. Everything connects and interacts through the motherboard including the power supply, a graphics card, sound card, memory and what's known as the central processing unit. Now the central processing unit or processor for short is often referred to as the chip. Now the chip processes everything through your computer and makes it run. The chip works very very hard so it gets very hot and it's installed with a fan over the top of it to cool it down. And that is the fan that you can hear at times while you're running your computer. Now your computer will also have two types of memory. The first type being the RAM or random access memory. This is the short term memory that allows you to perform tasks while using your computer. The more RAM that you have available, the more tasks that can be performed at the same time. Now this is quite important for gaming and other large pieces of software. The RAM holds your memory on your computer until it is switched off. Once the computer is switched off, the RAM is wiped clean. So if you want to save some work, we need to have another memory and this is what we call the hard drive. We save our work to the computer hard drive. 
So we use the hard drive to save the work and the settings that we need. Sometimes we have to physically save things, other times it will be saved automatically, depending on the tasks performed and the software that we're using. Further into the course, you can learn more about saving and different types of software. So when you walk into a shop and you take a look at the different types of computers available, you can appreciate it's not just the different designs, but it's also the different processes that computers use, the amount of RAM available, and also the size of the hard drive. These are all quite important when coming to choose the computer that you want. I hope that helps you understand a little bit more about your computer. Thanks very much.